Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. So something totally different from the past couple of videos uh, where apparently I'll start again. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since we've been doing some work on the van. So I think it's now about time that we get some work done. I'm currently at Willowfields campsite uh, this weekend parked up and I intend to do some work. But before I start, I'd just like to say a big thank you to 12 Volt Planet for sponsoring today's video. And I'll come on to that in a second. And I'll leave 12 Volt Planet's links up here somewhere uh, for you guys to take a look at. But big thanks to uh, Joe at 12 Volt Planet. Anyway, today, what we plan to do is to do some rewiring and what I'm gonna be doing today is a number of things. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time and is, is slowly upgrade my electrical system. So there's a number of things that we're gonna be upgrading. The first thing that I'm gonna be upgrading is uh, removing my two Victron DC to DCs, the uh, Orions and installing a new Victron XS, which is the new 50 amp DC to DC to replace my old ones. Uh, I then am going to be put replacing my uh, bus bars with a Lynx power in, uh, the 1000 amp, basically like a bus bar. Uh, and this is basically the Lynx power in, this little beast here. So again, I've got an isolator switch here. Coming off the bottom will be the uh, BMV shunt. So that will all get wired in. And basically all inside here is like one massive big bus bar and you can wire in all your appliances, your positive and negatives into here. So that's gonna be the Lynx power in. Uh, we're also then going to be wiring in uh, a Victron Serbo GX with a Touch 70 screen, which has been kindly donated by 12 Volt Planet. Because they are the today sponsors. So we're gonna be installing the Serbo GX and the touch 70 screen so that is another part of today's uh, jobs uh, one of the things uh, in the future we're going to be doing as well is uh, we're looking again a fog star uh, 460 amp drift pro battery um, so that's coming at some stage as well so in all that as well we've got to do some rewiring on the electrical system to accommodate that when it arrives and the whole idea with having the the Lynx power in, uh, the Serbo, the new Victron XS, and a uh, Fogstar Drift Pro battery, is uh, is all Victron integrated, which will allow me to plug everything into the Serbo and to display everything inside the van, and obviously use the uh, online VRM to access data as well. So that's what I've wanted for a while and slowly been coming together and again like i said the kind guys at 12 volt planet have donated the final parts which is the servo and the touch 70 so big thank you to them so without any further ado let's just let's get on with it this moment in time ignore my drug cabinet uh this is going to be replaced and this part of the roofing is going to be removed and some l track is going to be placed near so i can fit the van der moon boxes along here and to here which is probably a bit silly of me trying to wire everything in because this might have to be replaced. But this is all going to be redone anyway. New control panel for the lighting uh, and everything else condensed. However, for now, I need to drill some more holes in here because this is my template here for the Victron Touch 70 screen. So that's my template. I've marked up some holes where I've got to uh, cut out got to make sure I protect all the wiring that is behind here and get that sorted out because that where is it uh, that is where the touch 70 screen will go basically there so that is one job I've got to do today so onwards to getting that out I have some trusty tools my little my walkie jigsaw just for cutting that hole i've got some drills to make some pilot holes into here so allow me to cut through basically all you're trying to do is on the back of the touch 70 you've got this little uh recess here uh, 
and then you're trying to make a hole for that to sit into at the back to allow the cable to come through to where the electrics are. So that's what I need to do. And I'm gonna get on with that in a minute. <laughs> so in here is a wiring mess. And that is where my bus bars are at this present moment time. And what we have done already is pre-mounted and wired in for testing is the Victron XS and the Serbo, which is all there. So what I've got to do now is disconnect everything, solar, battery, and then start removing all the cables from the bus bar and start rewiring everything back in. She's going to be good, but it'll be worth it. Excuse the hang up, remove the bus bars. Uh, everything's disconnected. I've had to move the uh, Victron XS down, the Serbo down, in order to make room for the uh, Lynx powering. Because it's quite a big beast. So now removed, they have covers for them as well. So they're rated at 300 amps, but the new Victron one is rated at 1000 amps. So. My old bus bars. Bye. Power it in. So that's with the cover off. Uh, that's the cover. Uh, so I put the isolation switch on here. Uh, there. Uh, like I said, the uh, BMV shunt, which one will go onto here, and then obviously. All your positives go onto this part and all your negatives go onto this part of the bar. And there's like these little trays to protect for the negatives from the positives from there. Uh, I've got to make a new 35 mil cable um, to come off here back to the battery. So I'm going to do that now and then I can mount once I put that cable in and the shunt in here. I can then mount this back to the wall. I start reconnecting cables. That's the plan. One of the good things when you're working on your van and working on electrics and you've got no electricity is the All Powers R1500. So I can still use tools, charge tools, recharge this up by solar panel, portable solar panel, which is just behind it, and stuff like that. So yeah, this comes in handy when you're working on your van electric. So if you haven't, a great piece of kit the all powers r1500 and i'll leave a link in the description below for this bad boy great bit of kit to help me as i rewire thing in and my mini archie approves heat gun to help me do all this so the current moment i'm at i've literally fitted the bmv now to this i've had to drill this out with a 10 mil drill bit into here that's now secure. So now all I've got to do is rewire some 35 mil cable with some 3510 lugs. Heat shrink these up, attach that to the positive, which is on here, attach another one to the negative, and then mount, I can mount this. And then I can start then remounting all the positives and negatives to the boss bar, slowly and surely. We'll get in there. The uh, Lynx powering is in, the BMV is attached to that, the isolation switch is attached to that. Uh, I've now got to try and get all that wired back in, bit by bit. Oh god, sometimes you wonder why. 
we'll get there. Moment, the uh, Lynx power in. Jesus Christ. Whew. Still got loads to do, but that's all the positives and negatives now running into the Lynx power in. Hopefully that's all done. All I've got to do now is uh, the power cables that come off the leisure batteries, recut these to the right length and then get them attached and then hope and pray that everything works. <laughs> that is it. So that is the Lynx power in, the Victron XS, the Serbo. I'm still waiting for all the uh, adapt cables for that. I have got to shorten all these down at some stage because there's just too much cabling. And there's my MVBT and fuse box, but it's all, it's still a mess. It just all needs tidying up, which I can do another weekend. Day, weekend, uh, so far. I've been at it since 10 o'clock. It is uh, half three now in the afternoon, so that's not bad going. I've still got loads to do about that. Uh, like I say, all the cable management and tidying I need to start to to work on and work on that better. But as far as everything's concerned, it's all in. Uh, it's all working. And I did it myself. Who would have guessed it? But we're done. So for now, the Lynx Power In is in. The Lynx Power In is in. The Orion XS is in. The Serbo is in. The MPPT is in, and my electric hookup is still in. All I've got to do is some real nasty cable management and tidying up, and that's going to be done next weekend. Yeah, but for now everything's in, everything's working. Uh, a few things have been tidied up, more heat shrink added, and all that sort of stuff. So we're all good, but everything's working. And that is my. Link's system so far. Uh, inverter's working. We just got cooked ourselves a nice little bacon and cheese pasty. Uh, all the electrics are working. Lights are back on. Max fans back on. Alexa is back on. Uh, Good afternoon, Rob. That is available to stream on all four. Thank you, Alexa. But stop right there. Uh, what else have we done? So that's everything back in, everything's working, everything's wired up. Now all I've got to do is cable tidy and management, which I'm going to carry on with tomorrow, but that's all working. Um, all I've got to do now is link the servo touchscreen to the actual servo and then just tie it, like I said, tidy everything up ready for tomorrow. Uh, what else is working? Let's have a look, there's all my tools. Uh, the electric hookup is working, so that's all fine. Uh, that's the All Powers R1500. So that's pumping in up to 30 amps at this moment in time on my electric hookup, which is great. So that's working. Green is working. You can go to the menus, change everything. Uh, that is my device list. Menu settings. All that sort of stuff. I've still got still need the cables to arrive so I can start to then link uh, all the devices to everything. Uh, I'm also going to be downloading the GUI Mods app, which then can configure this a little bit better and uh, going from there. So it's everything's in, everything's working. I just need all the cables which arrive tomorrow to start adding all the Victron devices to the servo which then this screen would look a lot better and understandable. So this is where we're at now. Uh, a few of the uh, V Direct cables arrived. So we've managed to uh, wire a few things in to um, the servo from the actual devices. So the first V, v Direct cable went from the MPPT into the servo. Uh, that gave us this area here, PV charger, which then shows up at your solar power uh, yield and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I did have uh, a couple of other cables to uh, arrive. I added one from the DC to DC to the servo. I've also waiting for one longer cable uh, to arrive. So from the uh, Victron 
BMW 712 Smart Shunt. Uh, the battery ones are a V direct cable from that to the, the servo should then uh, bring this alive as well. Um, and we're just waiting for a new USB um, so I can add that as well so I can upload the gummy mods modification to the servo. But that's where we are at the moment. Slowly getting there. Put the servo screen in there again. Big thanks to 12 Volt Planet for supplying us with the uh, the servo touch 70 and um, that system. So eternally grateful for that. So that's I've had to rip out my whole electrical system, uh, change some of the wiring. Um, again, it's advisable for anybody who's got done their own electrics. Check constantly your wiring and all that sort of stuff. Um, I haven't checked mine properly for a couple of years. Some of the uh, wiring had come loose from the lugs as I was dismantling it. So it's a lesson learned for me. But the Lynx power in is in. So that distributes basically the power like a uh, 1000 amp bus bar um, around the electrical system. The uh, Victron XS 50 amp DC to DC is in. Um, we have put the servo in as i said and the screen we've wired everything back in with some correct wiring and the mppt is wired in and the electric hookup is wired in i've tested everything i've ran the air fryer off the renergy 3000 watt inverter that all runs fine the electric hookup runs fine i've ran the engine for a bit i'm getting 48 to 49 amps coming through the dc to dc which is uh <coughs> pretty amazing so happy with that that's archie just letting everybody know to stop fucking about still on the electric side is cable management and tidy i am i've been pretty rough with it uh, there's a lot of cables in there that need shortening down tidying up uh, cable tying to some secure adapters into the panel and all that sort of stuff so i've got to get that done next weekend as well um then once the electrics is kind of sorted out we've got the uh we've got to try and get the lithium battery put in uh which is the 400 amp fog star again i'm drift pro i'll leave a link for that the reason i'm going for that as i said in the previously is it's got the servo um it can interact with the servo uh so which will be helpful uh i've then going to be start working on the ceiling here so I'm going to need to put some l track in down along here so I can start fitting the uh, moon boxes that I've got and that might mean I'm going to have to change all this as well and make it shorter to get a full length from a couple of moon boxes in but that's in future videos we've also got coming up uh, next weekend we're off to Willowfields to the uh, Haxi Hangout I'll leave a link in the description for that as well so please come along if you go come say hi and all that sort of stuff we are then off uh, a couple more weeks later on the 19th of July, I think it is, to Van Love Fest at Elvington Gear Field in York on the runway and all that sort of stuff. So, you're going to go there if not, book tickets. And then finally, we're going to go to the Van Lifer and Overland Celebration Weekend at Newbury on the 28th of July, the following weekend. So, if you're there, come and see us again. I don't really have any stickers to give away, but just come and say hi. Give us some support. Come see Archie. Bring some dog snacks. Bring me some money if you want to. Uh, or whatever. Or buy me a coffee. And I'll see you all there. But thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you on the next video soon. Bye-bye.